Afternoon, peeps. Uh, Kenny from Smooth Watch up here. Um, I wasn't actually going to do a video because I, I just ordered some stuff in this um, today. So I kind of knew or I thought I knew what I was getting. Um, so yeah, I've, I've, I've ordered I've got myself a nice new mouse, Matt. Yay, I like that. Um, so I got a few packages this morning. So I did open a couple of them because I thought I knew what I was getting. Um, turns out not to be the case. So I just thought I would share it because... Um, that's a bit of a surprise in this one and I'm, I'm quite stoked actually so uh, yeah so I knew I'd ordered what's in this packet so I've opened it up um, if, if you've watched some of my sort of vlogs um, you'll have seen that uh, a gentleman uh, called uh, Luke Carswell kindly sent me a I'll see if I can pull it out my stash actually a little while ago uh, he said he wasn't going to build it. He sent me this this lovely Westland uh, Sea King. Okay, so some of this is related to, to this because um, I like my helicopters. I haven't done the helicopter for 35 years and I thought, well, this is a special edition one. Um, Dad, Mr. Mike Mountain, has got the same one, but he's got the, the greyish coloured one, but he's going to do it in the yellow as well because this one uh, it, it celebrates the... Uh, was it 70 years and it's the one that was flown by H, &H Prince William and all that so <clears throat> I want to try and do a pretty decent job on it and I'm, I'm trying to get the right paint for it and, and stuff like that okay so I mean as I say uh, Luke Carswell kind of gave me that that was in another video right so that never came this morning so but anyway just just so you can relate to some of the stuff that came so I got a, I, I got a parcel in and I knew what, what was coming I got some photo etch for it oh that looks tiny um, <laughs> so yeah, um, seemingly, uh, Hannan's bought over a company that was making the photo etch, uh, for this Airfix, uh, 172nd scale, um, Sea King. So just to let you know, you can actually get a little threat of photo etch for it, but guys, this is, this is smoothism stuff. So yeah, I'd ordered that. So uh, just the reason I, I went on the Sea King was because I'd ordered that. So, um, I knew about that. So, uh, my friend, my, my friend, my friend, Gordon's alive. Oh, thanks for peeping, fish man. Uh, my friend, Gordon's alive. Um, better known as uh, John Bennett, had said, I've got a lovely little model shop near me. Um, I've been looking up for paint codes for that. Uh, helicopter to try and get the right one because I, I mean I, I don't build sort of aircraft and stuff very often so he says I've got a shop just along the road John knows his paints and stuff like that and his aircraft he says I know exactly the colour you want want me to nip along and get you the paint I says aye I says and while you're there can you pick up one for dad as well I says because when he comes back for Scots and Orkney because he's nipping in to see me I says I'll give dad his paint uh, so I sent him the money off to, 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 to get the paint and that for me and uh, some easy line and that, and it says, right, I'll send you up. So, right. So this box is supposed to have paint and easy line in it, okay? So I have opened it. This is where the surprise comes in. I had happened to mention, um, oh, I can't mind if it was on one of the, the live streams or something, but the, the first kit I ever built when I uh, came into the hobby of modelling, my dad came home. My dad passed away when I was 11, so... Uh, I, won't, I, I didn't really get to spend much time with them, but this was uh, the kit that my dad helped me build. Yes, this is a Rebox, um, or a later version, I think. I, I'm not sure. This is the first model kit I ever, ever, ever made. Um, I was probably about eight or nine years old. Uh, my dad came home for driving his lorry, and he said, Terry, I've got something for you. I went, oh, what's that, Dad? And uh, it was this little uh, Airfix 176 scale Bofors gun and tractor. And I sat at the kitchen table and my dad showed me how to cut bits of styrene off the of sprues, how to glue them together and how to paint them and everything. This holds a lot of memories for me, John. You are a really, really bad man. Um, and I say to him, I say, but... All I was working was paint. I mean, I, I love this, I says, but have you sent the paint? So, he's, um, oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there we go. So, what was supposed to come was, um, this is, this is seemingly the, the correct colour, um, for this helicopter. So, it's, uh, 
Mr. Hobby at Chris, which I really like these because they go with all the FS codes and everything. This is the correct colour of yellow, a sort of a mustardy yellow um, that goes on these um, these Westland Sea Kings. So, yeah, I was expecting that, but yeah, excellent. And he did a bit of research from me and says, Terry, that's the colour that you, that you need. So I'm really chuffed about that. So me and Dad's got the right colours for doing our uh, helicopters. Um, I've never used Easy Line before. Um, so he's got me some. Oh, this is cracking stuff. It's brown. It doesn't matter what colour it is. Because for my elf archer that I'm in the middle of doing my, my bust, I need to string a bow. Um, so that looks like going to be the excellent stuff for um, for doing that. So I knew that was coming. So I, again, thanks for that. If you watch my latest uh, Yamaha uh, RZ250 build, um, you'll find that I buckled up my decals. But they were the Jap spec ones. Um... <laughs> Gordon's alive Gordon three sheets Bennett you absolute star the blue ones up the top are actually for the 350 but it's actually the same as what's on the, the UK spec 250 I can get on with my RZ build oh you are an absolute legend absolute legend oh look at this now I can't remember this kit being so small <laughs> I can remember the truck was kind of small, but wow, I haven't built this in, oh, right, well, I'm 50 years old at the moment, so if I was eight when I built this, 42 years ago, um, oh, it's even got a little man, I can't remember it having little men in it, oh, John, oh, wow, hmm, yeah, I don't um, usually get emotional, but uh, yeah, reminds me of my dad. It reminds me of my dad. Oh, look at that! Oh, brilliant! Oh, I'm so stoked! Oh wow! Um, yeah, thanks, John. I really am pretty stoked about that. Um, I know it's just a wee thing, but it was the first uh, model kit I ever made, and what makes it special was um, I made that with my dad when he was still alive. Thanks ever so much, John. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, sorry, I'm swearing. I shouldn't swear. Um, wow, I really am stoked. Um, I don't think he realises. He did it to Colin as well. He sent Colin a plane that Colin built when he was younger. And I could kind of see in Colin's eyes that uh, brought back a lot of memories of him and his uncle and stuff like that. You have no idea what this kit means to me, John. Thank you. Oh, right, okay. Um, moving on before I get all teared up. Um, I've been... Oh, oh, ah, ah, hmm. I've been... Um, Hinting at you guys for a while. Um, a lot of you guys um, that follow me have asked me to do uh, instructional um, things on breadboard and that and electricity. So I'm, I'm currently trying to plan out how to film that, what bits to show you and stuff like that. And I hinted that um, along with that build, I was going, along with that video series, I was going to try and do a build where I did a practical application of putting LEDs in a model, right? Now, I'm hoping that's what's in this box, because if it's not, I'm going to look really stupid. <laughs> I could edit it out anyway. Um, I haven't built a car kit, a proper car kit, for over 35 years. I'm not on about these silly wee starter kits and that that we've been doing for a bit of a laugh. Um, I've not had a proper attempt at a car kit for over 35 years, and nor have I lit one up before. So if this is what I hope it is, I think it is. Um... Some guys might be a bit surprised that uh, Terry's actually going to do shiny. Yep, guys. There we go. There it is. It's a Ravel. I'm just trying to get my camera squared up a little bit here. Level 4 kit and 124 scale of the Porsche 911 Turbo. The one with the big fat S on it. Um, 
I actually quite like it because it's red and the colour that I'm going to be using to paint it. This isn't so much going to be about the painting job, although I'm going to try and do a, a nice spec paint job. So I'm going to use it, the GX colour, lovely red on there, the Carmen red. Um, and it's not going to get 2K or anything that, I don't think it needs 2K, but I'm going to use a Mr. Colour GX. So it's going to get lacquer paints on it and I'm going to do a shiny job on it. It's not going to be super shiny, high detail, all, all pumped up and lowered and loads of photo etch and aftermarket on it, but it's going to be an out-the-box build apart from I'm going to try and light up <clears throat> the headlights and the indicators and the front spots and the lights on the back. And I was thinking, it, it's kind of like, I suppose I really needed to do a car to sort of show that I could do a car um, and that I could paint a car well. Um, and I thought, why not um, light it up and use this to go along with my uh, LED instructional video and um, actually show you a practical application. Another thing I'm going to be doing is I've ordered some um, flock powder from Hero Boy. Um, I haven't worked with flock before, so I'll, I'll, I'll consult with David Hunter and I'll give you an idea of how to, how to, how to apply it, um, just for like interior carpets and that. Um, so yeah, so this is of course, it's, <clears throat> it's probably an older kit. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a load of hyper engine detail and stuff on it or interior detail or anything. I'm I'm hoping, I'll know, I'll see when I get the kit out and that. I'm hoping I'll also try and light the dash up because uh, it's like five round uh, speed of vehicles. Uh, I was going to wait till Saturday to, to reveal it, but I'm all up. That that bloody Bofors gun got me so so excited, and then this arrived today, and I thought, you know what, I'll let you guys know about it now. So yeah, Terry's going to be doing shiny, um, not super shiny. But uh, my interpretation of Shiny, um, it's, it's, it's an iconic uh, motor car. Um, I like, I've driven one. Um, a little bit of fun. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, 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 it's got a little bit of bash in the box. Thanks, Amazon. Uh, I'm just going to, uh, I'll do, a, what I will do is, I will do a proper inbox review of it and everything. Because uh, if I'm going to start a video build series on something, um, I always do an inbox review, but I'm just going to have a little look because I've I've never really opened a car kit or anything. So this isn't the inbox review. This is just me having a wee look you see to see what's in the box. Oh, and there's decals in there. Oh, did it and stuff. Um, yeah. So lovely, lovely, lovely looking car. See, see. <clears throat> I trained as a, a motor vehicle technician, a Mercedes trained, and um, I, I started my apprenticeship in the 80s, round about, I think it was 1984, I left high school and I started my, my four year apprenticeship with Mercedes, and these were all, I'm pretty sure, somebody will tell me I'm wrong, I mean, I've not, I've, I'll do my research before I do the inbox review, pretty sure this is an 80s icon. Um, these were the kind of cars that would come in now and again for MOTs and that, and... <laughs> Ah, oh, right, okay, I'm so stoked. John, that that kit, this, you have no idea. Um, right, oh, so what's in here? So, so, oh, good, there's not a lot of decals. Uh, any of you guys know me that decals are not my, my favourite part of a model ever. Uh, I think it's something that I need to get over the uh, fear factor of and, and just get on and bloody do it. I know all the theory and a lot of times I can get decals to go on, it just... It's always a bit of my thing. And it doesn't look like there's many decals in this. It's, it's all number plates and different registrations. So that's... I'm not going to be worried about decals on this model. Um, I do... What I will say about Rebel, um, or Rebel, I'm liking their instruction booklets. You know, they've got the nice artwork and everything like that. And their instructions are actually... I quite like how they lay them out in their modern, modern ones. Everything's all pretty clear. All the sprue layouts and... You know how it all goes together. I do like all the colour coding in that. Um, I, I would say their instructions are actually a bit better than Tamiya and places. Uh, what I am happy about in this one, it appears that the headlight glass is separate because I've only really done like the starter kits. Headlight glass is separate for the bowl, which allows me to paint in the bowl and fit an LED into the bowl before going into the car and running wiring. Um, and the same with the 
all the bumper lights and that, you know, I'll have to modify it to get those these two driving lamps done, and I'll, I'll need to modify it to get the light, all the lighting along the back done. So, uh, oh, what, what you could do for me for a favour, um, any of guys that are in the dungeon that know somebody with one of these cars in real life, could you get some uh, photos of the lights and that, and bits and bobs, just, you know, it doesn't have to be this colour of car. If you, if you know somebody with one of these cars in real life, um, either inbox me or post it up in the dungeon, and so so I've got some um, reference pictures rather than just me hunting about on, on Tinterwebs. Somebody could actually go in and maybe take some close-up photos of, of bits and bobs. That would that'd be kind of nice. Um, I'm not going to... Oh, it's just one big bag, is it? I just want to see what sort of size of, size of screw it is and everything. Um, John, you, you... Oh, God. I've calmed down a bit now. Um... Yeah, it means quite a lot to me, that, actually. I know it's just a, 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 wee, a wee kit. But... Oh, what a lovely size tub and everything. I'll just be careful opening this bag so I don't scratch my scratch my model. Because, it's you know, when you're cutting through a bag and you accidentally score your model, it uh, can bring a tear to a glass eye. Um, not sure I like the tyres so much. I can see now why... Um, Mr. Hunter and that. Oh, they're not bad. I can see now why Mr. Hunter goes for all his aftermarket tyres and that. They're all right, but they're not really... Ah, oh, they'll be all right. So, four, four wee tyres on a... And... Oh, the wee red light bar across the back, and it looks like a... Is it a fog light and something like that? So, yeah, that's all right. We clear parts. What's the body like? It's a few marks on it. Uh, quite a bit of cleanup going to be needed done on it because it's kind of mm, a bit rough around the rough around the edges. That's going to need a bit of micro meshing and that before paint goes anywhere near that. Yeah, a bit rough here and there, but it has the shape of the Porsche. Um, yeah, it has the shape of the Porsche. It looks all right. It looks like a Porsche. And if I can do a semi-decent paint job on it, it might look even more like a Porsche. And uh, it all seems to be in this red plastic, which feels a bit feels a bit brittle. So I'll do a proper inbox review of it. It's not going to be a, a straightforward uh, build anyway. But uh, yeah, I think there'll be quite a bit of clean-up on it because it's of, of the kit. As I say, I'll do all my scale, ma scale makes references and stuff like that. But I am going to try, guys. And along with my instructional set of videos, I know this is going into quite a bit more than the mailbag. Um, along with my instructional set of videos on how to put LEDs, how to do LEDs and stuff, uh, my first practical application of putting it into a car. I mean, I've done a space shuttle and I've done that an x wing um, in a practical manner, using working headlights, working rear lights, and indicators and hazard lights, and possibly dash lights, um, I'm going to try my damnedest to light this up and also make it look a semi-decent kit. But just bear in mind, I haven't done one of these for 35 years, so it might all go to pot. So I don't know what to say. I'm still stoked. Um, John, Gordon's alive. John Bennett. I don't think you quite realised when you, you bought me this little kit uh, what it means to me. Um, thanks for tuning in and listening to my name dribble about, oh my God, look what I got in parcels. Yeah, everybody gets parcels every day. Who cares? I know, it gets a bit boring, but it's just like, John, stuff like this. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have um, actually filmed any of the opening, you know, I've, I've got a car kit. whoop de doos everybody gets car kits. I just had a pile of parcels to open and, and yeah. Do you know, I'm so excited about that. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, I'm revisiting a kit that you built when you were eight year old and couldn't even remember who made the kit, if it was Matchbox or Airfix. And then you get to, you know, like 50 years old and, you know, somebody sends you a kit that you built as a child with your dad when your dad was still alive. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so, right, I. <clears throat> I'm going to go and get myself a cup of coffee and a, a, a strong drink. No, I'm joking about a strong drink. Um, thanks, John, for uh, locating the, the easy line and the painting that for me. And really stoked about that. And yeah, guys, um, 
So we're talking about uh, doing the LEDs and stuff. Uh, it's going to lead on to event uh, the build series of doing this. And hopefully, if I do the instructional videos in a way that you guys can understand, you could possibly get the exact same kit and light it up with me. Just a suggestion. You don't have to. You know, these will probably get all shinier and detailed up more than me, but the, the main thing in this one is it's going to be show guys how to put headlights and indicators and stuff into a car. And I thought, I like that car, and that's the one I'm going to do. And I suppose it kind of put, dipped my toe in to say, well, look, this is how, I, how my attempt at doing a car, it might, it's not going to be too okay, shiny, but it should be shiny. So we'll see how it goes. Tell you about the video opening parcels. <laughs> right, um... Not much more to say. Uh, Saturday live show, um, 7.30pm GMT. Chat goes live at 7. The usual uh, goofing off and carrying on. Um, I like to liken it to five or six model-making guys or, or ladies. Sometimes Lynn comes in um, sitting at the bench having a goof off, but it's kind of more like five blocks down the pub having a wee laugh with their mates. Uh, and when you come in, it's just like we're all down the pub having a giggle and a laugh. That's kind of how I do it. It's supposed to be nice, relaxed, a bit of fun, with a little bit of serious stuff at, at, in between. It's not everybody's cup of tea, but, you know, uh, I enjoy it. I really enjoy it. The guys really enjoy it, and it seems you guys enjoy it as well. So, uh, I just, you know, the internet's an interesting thing. There's so many channels on, there's so many live streams. It's just like your TV. If you don't like it, tune to another channel. So, yeah, see you on Saturday, guys. Happy modeling. Bye. Um, yeah, uh, Mac, um, <clears throat> just as I finish pause or end on the video, what's man came again? Yeah, so might as well just tag it on the end of this one. Um, I do know what's in this, so um, it's just to give you an idea of some stuff I'm planning for future builds. Um, stuff I haven't, um, haven't ever built before. Um, one of them I shall be attempting to light up. Um, ordered this from my friends at Wonderland Models in Edinburgh yesterday, and that's a just try to figure out how to get into this while I'm, while I'm chatting away. Um, I ordered from my friends at uh, Wonderland Models in Edinburgh. Um, there's a big sale on at the moment. I don't know if it's because of all this rebel takeover and all that sort of thing. Um, but there's some nice prices out there on some interesting stuff um so yeah stuff that i don't normally build as, as i say i've got a stash of motorbikes and stuff but now and again just you know um something will catch your eye um one of the what uh one of them both of them one of them is out of my comfort zone um oh, please please get into this right i'm just gonna start open it open it's just there's a lot of tape on this it's well well wrapped right i'm just going to go off the bench a bit oh and inside that was another box excuse the tearage <sighs> camera bounced about all over the place um one of them I, I think they're both quite big cups actually but they're not expensive um we're talking about Two thirty pound kits here, so it's. I've been saving up. I've got some savings. Oh, James, right. Uh, what do I need to undo now? I, I had some savings, so I bought myself uh, a couple of kits, and as I say, they were only thirty pound uh, each. So it's not like that. Mega expensive. How on earth am I supposed to get into this? Ah, right. Okay, I, f I, f I found a gap. Yeah, um, so as I say, I'm just going to put this on the floor now so I can show you what's in them. I um, haven't built anything like this before. Um, so the first one is, I've even got the price in it for Wonderland models. It is a big beastie. Um, Colin was in a hangout one night and uh, he's built one of these and he was showing me how it all splits down into little sections and all the wee lunar um, lander and everything's in it. I'm just going to see if there's anything on the back. No, it's just advertising other. Ah, here we go. 
walks out on the side, see, you showed me all that sort of stuff. And I'm like, wow, that's really cool. So uh, there's no really any scope for lighting that up as such. It's just going to be 77.5 centimetres. It's going to be a big, tall kit. I've never done anything like this. So I fancied it and I thought, 30 pounds. It's a big box of, big box of plastic. And it's in Chris's favourite scale, 144. Chris from Gross Models. Gross, look, 144. Chris, 144. Maybe he's got one. Um, so I just liked it and I thought, it's different. It's different. So I got that. Right, this one. This is well out my comfort zone. All right. It's normally $36.99. Ah, I got it for oh, under £30. It's a 1 500 scale Rebel Star Trek um, Enterprise Star Trek Into D Darkness which is a new one, and I thought it looked kind of funky, and on the pictures and everything. Um, but Gordon Three Sheets, John Bennett, has told me this is the one that everybody's on about, Aztec decals, but it's not shown me any Aztec decals on there. And as far as I'm aware, they don't come with the kit. So it might alienate some of the Star Trek community, but I'm, I'm probably going to build it with the decals that come with the kit, kind of like the box art. I haven't watched the series, I haven't watched the, I think I might have watched the film, I can't remember, we were talking about this the other night. Um, I'd like to do this, it's, it's quite a big model, uh, John has it in his stash, and I'd, I'd like to try and light it up, I haven't tried, I've done small spaceships, um, and I, have, I haven't tried to light up um, commercial aircraft or, or a Star trek -y thing. You can buy wiring kits for it, but I know how to make them, so at some point in the future, uh, I'll do I'll, I'll do a build video series. I'll do one on Apollo as well. Uh, a build video series on it. So it's looking like it's really nice. And again, um, I think faintly we can see sort of some Aztec in there. Now I do know that is it Trek Works or whatever has got videos on it. So I'm going to do some sort of search on it before I start it. Like, but it's um, it's a lot of plastic for your money, a thirty pound kit. So yeah, so Terry's been treating himself. <laughs> I do love Wonderland models, they're great. I've got a wee tear in the box, but I'm not worried about that. As long as all the kit contents are fine, that'll do me. So yeah, uh, just a wee addition. So yeah, that's kind of stuff I'm looking at, trying to do instead of bikes all the time. But yeah. And I'll just, because it just came afterwards, I'll just, I made it in this video anyway, so I'll just tag it on the end. I uh, just thought you might like to see it. So, uh, as always, happy modelling. See you later.